Zuma warns ill discipline within ANC will be dealt without fear or favor. And Creasy says deployment of security guards in schools helped reduce break ins. I'm Lebo Changela with this news update. President Jacob Zuma has warned that ill discipline within the ANC will be dealt without fear or favor. This after an SABC cameraman was wounded at an event which President Zuma attended. Rudy LaRue was filming the memorial lecture in honor of the second president of the ANC, Sefa Gomahatu, at the Good Hope Center in Cape Town, where Zuma was the keynote speaker. He was hit by a chair thrown, allegedly by ANC Youth League members who attempted to disrupt the memorial lecture. Two people were arrested. ANC national spokesperson Jackson Tembu has strongly condemned the incident. As the ANC, at national level, working together with the Western Cape provincial leadership, including our regional leaders in this province, will have to unearth these scoundrels who did what they did here and even get to the bottom of why they did what they did. There is no way that an organization that is 100 years old can tolerate such ill discipline, if indeed these are members of the ANC. But this was thuggish. Earlier in Johannesburg, President Zuma addressed members of Metal Workers Union, Rumsa. He said the ANC Youth League was not an autonomous body, but an integral part of the ANC. President Zuma has called for members of the league to be disciplined. It's not the Youth League which is out there, spare wheel of the ANC, no. It is an integral part of the ANC. That's why, for its discipline and everything, its constitution must be informed by the ANC constitution. Its constitution must be subordinate to the ANC constitution. Gauteng Education MEC Baba Krisi says the deployment of security guards in schools had helped reduce the number of break-ins over the festive season. Last year, over 100 schools were burgled and computers stolen. Krisi says security at schools remains top of the department's agenda. To date, amongst other challenges that our teachers are faced with, we have a major infrastructure backlog to the size of almost 63,000 classrooms that we need to build as a sector. The support that we get from our teachers, the commitment that they give, sometimes make even these very big problems very small compared to what they could be for our teachers who are not supporting us. And Basic Education Minister Angie Motsega has hailed thousands of teachers in the country with their commitment to their jobs. She was speaking at the 12th Annual National Teaching Awards at the Santon Convention Center in Johannesburg. Motsega says although there is infrastructure backlog, she is confident that the teachers can alleviate poverty and unemployment. To date, amongst other challenges that our teachers are faced with, we have a major infrastructure backlog to the size of almost 63,000 classrooms that we need to build as a sector. The support that we get from our teachers, the commitment that they give, sometimes make even these very big problems very small compared to what they could be for our teachers who are not supporting us.